All right. Back into this madness. Uh, Monica S. All right, we're going to do it. All right, here we go. Arm into the hole. Hey, I think I can feel something. It's small, cold, and hard. It doesn't feel like anything else in here. All right, let's see what this thing is. A key. Oh, the sun key! That's really important. I need that. I found the sun key hidden in the tank. Of course, the entrance is locked. It's been like that in every room we've been in. What did you expect? There's no point in trying to go back. Let's think about going forward, okay? Oh, is that the forward key? Okay. Um. Red, yellow. You think the colors mean something? No idea. I mean, red looks more dangerous, but other than that... The bottom of this one looks like it's covered in rust. I don't think it'll move at all. Well, I guess I might as well try it. Let's give it a shot. Nope, no dice. This thing isn't going anywhere. Oh, give me that. You just aren't man enough. Sure, pal, you give it a shot. Let's see how much more of a man you are. <laughs> Sunkeeper Terran. <laughs> Sirens, plus. Hey, you're going to break it. <sighs> man, that thing ain't going anywhere. I can see some oil or something down at the base of the lever. Yeah, it feels like it's got some movement. I should be able to pull this one. All right, let's pull the lever. Is that water? What the hell? What's going on? Will you calm down? The water's just going somewhere. It's not like it's underneath us. That means the floor. Oh! Junpei, look! What's she? Oh, damn! I can see through the glass now. Oh! Is that a shark? EDBF. Okay. What? There's a strange noise coming from the chair. Looks like it's been turned on. Guess the puzzle is here that the power had to be sent a specific way. I don't like a shark there. I also don't particularly want to solve this. Alright. One, two, four, four. I'm gonna write this down. One, three, two, three. Two, three, one. Four, five, two, two. So what's a good number to try and go for? Well, I can cross out, so... The bottom one basically has a net of not caring about anything whatsoever. For two different ones. Which also really only makes that two. Three. So two, three, zero, zero, really. And a not quite that. That's ruder, so I'll have to leave that one the way it is. That makes that five and three. So I guess we'll make that four, three, three, one. I'm lazy for this. This is way faster. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't know that's what I was supposed to get. What do I want? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I thought I was supposed to try and get all the numbers the same. 8, 10, 6, and 9. Pro tip, trying to solve the puzzle without actually doing anything. Not the best way to do it. 
Adjustment completed. Now proceed into the execution phase. To complete the experiment, data must be collected from the subject. Once the preparation is finished, put the subject in the chair. Whoa, whoa! I thought we solved the puzzle already! What does it mean by preparation? Yeah, it wants us to execute somebody, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Um... I don't know. We've got a bad feeling about this. I think one of us has gotta sit in the chair. Well, Seven's never gonna fit in that thing. It's either you or me, Junpei. Collecting data. I wonder if it's gonna run electricity through the subject. There's a human head on the screen. Maybe it's gonna zap the brain with electricity. It really doesn't sound safe. I anyway, we still got to prepare. We can talk about this after we figure out what preparation means, all right? Well, we need to prepare, so we're gonna ask what we need to do. Um, do I have any other choices for items? Nope. This is a problem. I mean, if we're going to be executing someone, can it please be Lotus? I'm not going to let Lotus die over me. If anybody's dying, it's going to be me. What is that I'm seeing? The chair? Oh, yeah, it is a chair. Sun key should fit in the keyhole of the manacles. Alright, sun key in you go, and great, they're open. I don't think we're going to need the sun key in here anymore, though. Just seems unlikely. We can use it at a different time. I don't think examining the chairs can help the machine do anything. We should probably take a look at the monitor instead. The restraining device is unlocked. Please seat subject well, to the device. Like we thought, it's not going to work unless someone sits in it. <sighs> How ironic that this would be the situation in which this slim, beautiful body is useful. Don't sit Lotus, in it. Lotus, are you sure? I can sit in it, and you can solve. Junpei's right. If we screw it up. <sighs> I'll be fine. Even if I fall in, the shark is already dead. But... No one likes an indecisive man, Junpei. I can still give you advice from the chair, too, you know. <sighs> man. I just don't want to stay in this room any longer than we have to. Go over to that screen and let's get this over with. Uh, uh, look, do you think you could do me one last favor? Uh, don't say last. You're making me nervous. I'm really worried right now. Can I save the game? How do I change your new data? Okay. Just in case. Torture room! Yeah, seems real good. Just listen. If something happens to me, I want you to tell my daughters. Tell them that I loved them very much. No! No. Tell them that I will always love them. No! Daughters? You... You've got kids? Yes, I do. I suppose they're about your age, Junpei. Bible thump. They're twins. I had them when I was young after... Well, some things happened. Their names are Nona and... Um, what? Hold up, what? Wait, Nona? Aoi, Light, and Nona. Those were their names. Well, some of them. The kids that were in the experiment. What, what the hell? What's wrong with you? Oh, no way. It, it couldn't. Lotus, is your last name Kashiwabara? How do you know that? Are you serious? What the hell is this? There's no way you're that kid's mom. That kid? Wait, what do you mean that kid? Why are you acting like you've met her? I have. What? Oh, no. Yeah, I, I met one of your kids. When? Nine years ago. Where? On this ship. Why were you... It's not a short story. <laughs> Look, I don't care how long it is. Tell me. Please. What happened here? Fine. I I'll tell you. Are we going through the whole story I now? Am, but... And then... That oh. Went. From there, it looked like... Just it finally... <sighs> he got into this room, didn't he? That's all I remember from nine years ago. Oh my god. Actually, no, this room's not a circle, so it's not this room. I've been looking for. For the last nine years, the person who had all the answers was right here. Looking for? Yes, that's right. Nine years ago, my daughters disappeared. That's what I thought. This is... Mm, 
Dude, this is like such a bad feeling. Then nine days later, they came back. They never told me what happened to them over those nine days. I took them to the doctor, but I was told they hadn't been hurt in any way. Still, I was sure that they had been through something terrible. Monka S. Mm, Monka S. So I couldn't bring myself to force them to talk about it. If I did, then I'd force them to relive whatever horrors they'd been through. I didn't have any choice. I had to try and ignore it and move on. Oh. Hmm. A few months passed. Gradually, they started to act like they always had before they disappeared. They smiled and made jokes and did all the silly things kids do. It got harder and harder for me to ask them about what happened. How could I ask them to remember that? This is depressing. Eventually, I knew there was no way I could do it. What happened in the last hour that you suddenly care about Lotus? Uh, her kids got kidnapped. And pretty sure her kids, literal kids, had to go through this exact same situation that we're going through right now. So that's why I care about Lotus. I also care enough that I don't think people should die, period. Hmm. Oh. But I'm still a mother. I couldn't simply forget that something terrible had happened to my children. So I decided I would investigate what happened on my own. I would find out what happened during those nine missing days. What did you find out? Nothing. <laughs> you shouldn't have had kids in the first place? What? It's also offering to go in the torture chair for your place, which is also insane. The police pretended to be concerned, but they didn't do anything. Once the 16 children who'd gone missing came back, things were just... All 16 came back? Even the media didn't talk about what had happened. I'm sorry, all 16 came back. I figured someone was probably paying or threatening them to keep their mouths shut. I thought some of them died. Great old pharmaceuticals. No, probably something even bigger than that. <laughs> Neo Bullseye sneaks into the room. I think I caught you. <laughs> but hello. Sorry to call you out if you're trying to lurk, but hi. Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Have you heard of them before? No. It's the first time I've ever heard that name. Seven. How did you find out that Cradle Pharmaceuticals was connected to the kidnappings in the first place? <laughs> I figured finding out whatever the victims had in common would lead me to the culprit. <laughs> That's what any good cop does. Can't get past the pats. Runs away and hides in her cardboard box. Snake? Snake? What did they have in common? Every single one of the kids who disappeared had gone to this one hospital at some point. The hospital was one of a bunch that were under the control of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. After that, it was just about connecting the dots. The hospital. Okay. The hospital. And for a while, I was trying to get some kind of information out of the kids at the hospital. One of them told a weird story. What was it? Have you heard about the Gansfeld experiment? The Gansfeld experiment. No. No, I have not heard about the Gansfeld experiment. I guess all these kids had to go through it while they were at the hospital. But yeah, hi everyone. Hi! Your stream title turned out to be very accurate, PT. Too, too accurate. It feels bad, man. I think it was passed off as some sort of counseling. What did you call it again? Oh. The Gansfeld experiment. What does that mean? This is how it's set up. First. Subjects Q and A are put into separate rooms, far away from one another. Then a series of video images are shown to subject Q, who is told to send the images to subject A by thinking about them. Ah, uh, yes, classic science. Subject A, on the other hand, is put in a large reclining chair, given a blindfold. With their senses cut off, A is asked to guess what images Q is looking at. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. It's a famous telepathy experiment, isn't it? Hmm, telepathy. That's how the experiment on this ship was supposed to work. The experiment to control people, right? Yeah. I don't know if any of the telepathy stuff really exists, but maybe someone from Cradle Pharmaceuticals bought into it. And the Funyarimpa. Ah, yes, telepathy. The classic. Hm. Even if that is the case, I still don't get how that has anything to do with any of this. The Notary Game, Zero why we were kidnapped what does any of that have to do with telepathy i know i brought all this up but i have no idea maybe none of this stuff is connected after all <sighs> no subject has been detected unless a subject is detected within 60 seconds all power will be shut down 
System recovery is estimated to take one hour. So how are you all doing? Or tomorrow, depending on what time zone you're in. It's an awesome game. So far, I'm really enjoying this game. Um, not, not liking how many people have died, and I'm hoping I can make it less and not more. But judging by this exact situation, pretty sure I can't. Uh, I'm doing pretty well, other than people dying and knowing that it's probably going to happen more, no matter what I do. If you wish to proceed with the experiment, please see the subject in the restraining device. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. It's not good, yeah. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, oh, no, that's not what we... Just hurry up and get it over with. No, not a spoiler. Some of the theories they talk about in this game are actually based... Actually factually based. Yes, I... There's a lot of random stuff we've learned from this game. At least so far we've learned quite a bit. And it's pretty good. Um, which is... I, I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, I agree with you. There's, there's plenty of cool stuff. Junpei, I'm counting on you. Right. Lotus, please, tell me right away if you feel anything weird. God, you worry too much. Now get on with it and be a man, or June's gonna leave you. Oh, snap. Called out by Lotus. Lotus. Okay, let's do this. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Hold up, what? Four, four. Okay, we got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. Four, four. One, this one. Okay, so we're gonna have to... This is... Lotus is pretty savage. <laughs> like, all of this in general is just insanely savage. Alright, so... Super, 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 super despair. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> oh! Thank you, V-Kitty. Or, Vi is it V-Kitty or V-Kitty? Um, either way, thank you for the follow. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Uh. So it's two, one, and then one more. Ah, uh, this is one and one one. So I'm writing it down on paper. Ooh, purple buttons make sounds. Purple buttons make sounds. I don't know which purple buttons you're referring to, but if you're talking about the follow, then yes, my follow does make sounds. Specifically, right now, most of them are follow, sub, and host all make sounds from Dying on Ropa. So we got a 2 3. Sorry, writing this stuff down is actually a lot. <laughs> a lot of stuff to write down, and then just a 1 0. Two two. Super, 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 super despair. Super, 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 super scares, right? You're one hundred percent correct. Thank you for the follow, Neo Bullseye. Oh, oh, does it have a cooldown? No, it definitely went off. Oh wait, there it goes. Oh my gosh, thank you for the follow, Neo. All right, so we got a bunch of these going on. I have to make sure I get this correct. I absolutely do not want to kill her. One, two, oops. L1, L1. Two, oops, two, two. We got two, zero. And two, zero. Zero, zero, and one, one. So we're gonna start with this one. Just two one. Super, 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 super despair. 
Ataraxia, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I thought you were already following me, actually. That's kind of funny. But uh, thank you for it. <laughs> Say hello. Hi. Oh boy. Huh, this, this person I've totally never seen before. Definitely hasn't followed. Oh my gosh, that is actually way, way more frightening than it seems when you're not expecting it. I just learned that was a thing you could do. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, following um, shows up whenever I I go live, so you know. Pats for Ataraxia. Another good friend of mine that I know from real life. Great person. And then... Two and one. Perfect. So I need to add the seven, four, four, and four. So let's see. So these are all fine. Three plus two is five. Nope, so these are not, I can't do that one. It's already out. Unless, yeah, no, that one's out. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Moblin. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't have a super exciting bit donation one. I, I wanted to, and I need to figure out something, but thank you so much for the biddies. That means so much. I hope you're having a, a good one so far. I, I, it's not the most exciting part right now. I'm just trying to math things out. I know that it can't be at that one. So I need big numbers. Two plus two plus one plus one. Two. That's six, though. That's one short. What? That's not possible. These are exclusive. I can't have both of them on at the same time, right? Yeah, sorry. It's it's not a very exciting one. If you come up with a different one from this one, I have no issue pulling it off for a new bitty, bitty notification. It's just, I, I uh, right before this, I played through, wanted to do some science. No, I get that. I just wanted to do some science. Fair enough. I, I, um... Oh, yeah. You've been waiting! Waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, thank you for the host sound. I, it is one of my favorite from Danganronpa. It's definitely a good one. So two, four, six, seven. It, so I have to have this one. It can't be this one, right? So at two, one, three, two. But how do I get? Those are both twos. Oh, I guess if I just don't have either of those active. So if I have that, but then how do I get to seven? I still can't. I need that too. What? Unless these subtract from there. Are these subtracting and I don't know it and that's why I have even more difficult Super 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 despair. Oh my gosh. You keep scaring me with that one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the follow moblin. I do find it awesome hilarious that you went cheers and then follow, but I appreciate it a lot. Scaring me with all these notifications. I almost never get them super despair. Super despair. Sorry, it's one of my favorite characters. Nothing happens here no matter what, right? This is already done. So if I hit check without winning, I'm assuming that kills her. So we're just not gonna do that. Wait. That's supposed to be six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, my math was so wrong. So that's supposed to be six. These are four and four. Oh, everything works now. Never mind. Math makes sense. Three plus two plus one. So no matter what, this is good to go. I obviously can't do that one because there's no way to get that. So now we have that for sure. Has to be this one for sure. So I know it's one, zero, one, one. For now, it's three, one, four, two. I need to get that to four and that to four. So I need a three, two, one. That'll get that to there. The one one, uh, two one will work. Wait, one one, one two one. So let's try that. So one one two one and two two zero one. 
that is a three, two, three, two, uh, which doesn't work because that adds up to six. So it's not that. So two one zero has to be the two zero two zero, right? Two one two zero and two zero zero two. That's not enough though, I need three. So try 2201. But that's not enough for the ones, right? So that's four, three, two, one, right? Which if you add that seven, four, six, three. So I'm one short if I do it that way. Hmm, I'm beyond confused right now. Contemplates making another all just to trigger the super despair noise again. <laughs> I I I can feel you there. I think it's actually super duper fun. I actually was wondering about whether or not that's something I should make my, because it's such a long one. Um, so right now I know that these are required. So I might as well get these, so that's on the second one. Right now I'm looking at, so I got one, three, make sure it lines up, three, two, one, three. Or sorry, three, wait, what? Three, four, one, three. What? Oh, sorry. I have these backwards. R1 and L2. Set to 2. So 3, 4. And that should be 1, 2 on the other side. 1, 3? Oh, I don't know how to math. Oh, then these are right. So it's the 2, 1, 2. Cool. That math. Which is 2, 1, 2, 0. R2, set to 1, and then 2201, L1, set to 1. So that's 7, 6. Make sure that's right on the hint. 7, 6, cool. 4, wait, what? Did I do this wrong? Should be 1 and 1. More despair. <laughs> Can never have enough despair. Um, one, one, two, two. Oh, these should be two, two. That's why. Four and four, right? So we're good. We did it! <laughs> it only took me forever, but we did it. The experiment has concluded. The door will now unlock. I can hear the door unlocking, and we've got a new message. Release subject from restraining device. Lotus, are you alright? Yes, I am. I'm glad nothing bad happened, but I do think my life got a little shorter. <laughs> Hold on, I'll get you out right away. Shouldn't take long for me and Seven to get her out of here. Let's get out of here now. Oh my gosh! I was actually way too worried that we were going to accidentally kill Lotus. I'm so glad we didn't. That's amazing. Being a guinea pig is not for me. Yeah, I don't blame you. Damn straight. I don't ever want to see this thing again. If I mess that up, does she die? Because I feel like that's definitely something that happens. Woo! Pog champ, we did it. We did it. Sorry, that's probably not the most exciting thing, watching me write a bunch of stuff and do weird math in my... The hallway goes to the left. Yeah, but I don't see any doors. Yes, we just need to keep going. Right, let's go. Okay, then. Somebody just knock on my door. An elevator. Hey, this is the one that goes back to the um, the floor. She was spared from the super, super despair. <laughs> yes. Thank goodness she was. Ooh. The big 37 love. That's a really cool heart. I like that one. Thanks for, for the congrats. That's, that was tense. Just what we need. Let's take this to C-Deck. Uh-oh. Ooh. Lay love. That's a good heart, too. Everybody's got it. We did it, Seven. Lotus, let's go. Lotus? Lotus? Oops, I, uh... S seven, let's go! <laughs> huh? No one's here. Where did they go? Did they find a different door? I have no idea. Hmm. Hey, Junpei! We should follow him. I know where we need to go. The door behind the central staircase. 
There was a sun symbol on the keyhole of that door. And we already have the sun symbol. And I happen to have the sun key in my pocket right now. This should open that door. <sighs> All right, time to open this. Hold on a sec there. Huh? We don't have the key for this one yet, right? Yes, we do. That's... Wait. Oh, it's the Jupiter symbol. What? Then we can't open this door. Unfortunately, no, we can't. Jeez, the sun door's got to be just on the other side of this, you know? We can't just stop. Hey, it, it opened. What? The others must have found the Jupiter key. Well, what are we waiting for? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh. Oh, no! Why? No! No! Why? Did June? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell happened? No! Clover. Nothing. She's dead. Uh. Hey, what are you doing? The key. Get me the sun key. Why? Why do you think we have to get out of here before the murderer comes back? <laughs> the murderer? Actually, that's five out of nine down. Only us three plus June are alive. Unless one of them is not Santa, actually dead. Clover and Ace. Three people, three dead bodies. No! That means that the person who had killed them was, was... June. No, it can't be true. But it doesn't make any sense. Give it to me! Let's go! No! Open! Excuse me, goodness. No, this can't be right! What? what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't feel it unlocked. Oh, no. Is it the wrong key? I don't know. Maybe. Juna's best waifu. Oh what no. What is this? Wait, you mean the door was already unlocked? Why? How would I know that? Why was the door unlocked? This is bad. Yeah, I don't want to go through an already unlocked door. That seems like a terrible decision. Let's go through a door that's unlocked right after we saw a bunch of people who are dead. Uh. <sighs> what the hell is this door? I can't see anything that looks like a doorknob or switch or lever or card reader or or anything. And this is why people, I love blind runs. People's first reactions to bombshells like this are the best. No, I 100% understand. I'm just... Why? How the fuck are we supposed to open this? What did I mess up? We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to go back. No. No, I'm not going back there. There is a murderer back there. But I don't see any other doors. It's nuts, Neo. I... <sighs> These games are great. Uh, my uh, Ropa was incredible. My favorite game, easily, so far. But to be fair, I've only played Ropa now this. Oh, no, 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 no! Mm. No way. It opened by itself. It, it's an automatic door? Look, guys, I've got a really bad feeling about all this. We should the not go in that door. The already unlocked, and this one's automatic. We haven't seen anything like this before. Bad feeling? <laughs> And we've hit bottom. This can't get any worse. Shit! No! No, hey, don't do it! Junpei. Don't do it! My only advice is don't die. I think that's pretty good advice. Where did I mess up? Let's go through door number three. I mean... <laughs> Probably. I can't take this anymore. No one can. <laughs> no. It's a lie. It's gotta be. This can't be real. No, no. It's impossible. If it's a dream, just wake up already. Someone please tell me it's all just a joke. I, I, I'm imagining things. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's it. This is all obviously a lie. Don't you wish. It's a big, elaborate trick. An illusion or something. Or a dream. It's made up. No. Ah! No, it's not. Connie! No! How?! How is everybody dead? Connie! Connie, hang on! Put this game on the DS so it didn't have voice acting. It was almost spooky just reading the descriptive descriptions of their death. I 100% understand. But, 
But how? How is everybody dead? Uh. No, Connie. Jumpy? Oh, man. Connie, there's so much blood. What the hell happened to you? How did this happen? Jumpy, I'm sorry. I, uh, I might not make it. No. No, no way. No way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you, I promise. No. Thank you, Jumpy. But this one is Jumpy saying Funyurimpa. Is that the problem? Did, is that the mistake I made? Choosing for him to say it was a Funyurimpa? Is that what killed everybody? Thank you so much. Uh, for everything. I was really happy. No! To see you again, Jumpy. No! Really. That's not. No! <laughs> That's not right! Don't give me that I was crap. You're gonna see me again lots more times. You. You just gotta hang on. Alright, Connie? This is r so wrong. Point your ripper in his best end. I'm laughing so hard. I understand, but this uh, is wrong. You. Ow, what can I do? Did I just get literally the worst ending? Because it feels like it right now. Damn it! What's that? A submarine? What on earth is a submarine doing here? Th that's it! Hang on, alright? There's a submarine over there. I I I'm gonna go see if it works. No! Don't go! Please! Don't go! Please, just stay with me, okay? I want to be close to you, Jumpy. When I... I... Dude, I don't... Stop! Connie. <laughs> Jumpy, You're killing me. Did you, you meant a lot to me when we were kids. I'm dying here. I've liked you for a long time, Junpei. Which, by the way, was brutally obvious through the whole thing, and Junpei's just an idiot. A really long I'm, I'm dying. Time. Oh, feels so bad. <laughs> Jumpy, you remember how we hung out a lot when we were... Kids, we went to the pool and to the fair. Do you remember playing snowball at the school? They're all memories I'll never forget. No. All of those moments are treasures to me. <sighs> I also wanted to go to a lot of other places with you. A lot. <laughs> June, you are dying. I am. I am, June. You're killing me. But that won't happen now. No, don't say that. No. I mean, yes. Yes, it will happen. We'll go all sorts of places, Connie. You hear me? I promise. We'll go wherever you want. This is breaking my heart. Really? Yeah, really. I swear. <gasps> That makes me happy. Really happy. Sounds like an issue, Jovine. You, you, mmm, mmm. Sirens, I swear to God, I will get the ban hammer out. Jumpy, I feel sleepy. No! No, Connie, don't fall asleep. Don't do it. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. No! Connie! Connie. <sighs> this isn't fair! Connie! This isn't fair! Couldn't do anything. Ban scenes. Time passed. Junpei wept. Curled around Connie's body. He cried and cried until he had no tears left. When the last tear fell, Junpei was no more. His body remained, but only as an empty shell. Somewhere, he heard a bell ring. It was the clock at the central staircase. That was five. Then it faded. Five o'clock. 
quietly, gently, softly. He set Kenny down on the floor. Slowly, Junpei stood. Only then did he realize what, that Seven and Lotus had not followed him. Where had they gone? Slowly, he looked around the room. There was nothing. No sign that they'd ever been there. He felt though as every part of Junpei's body was made of lead. Slowly, he made his way for the door he'd come through. As he approached it, it opened, sledding apart with, like a, with a sound like grinding stone. Crippling depression. That's all I can feel right now. Junpei passed through the gate and into the hallway. What? No! How? How is this possible? What? This doesn't make any sense! This doesn't make any sense! His heart rattled in his chest. An empty lifeless thing. It had been so utterly broken that there was nothing left to feel. When he saw their bodies, he simply stared. It was a lake. A sea of blood. Two bodies lay in it. There was no need to check. There was no breath left in them. His eyes lit on Lotus's wrist. Her bracelet. It was gone. He stared. It meant nothing to him. He didn't care anymore. He couldn't care anymore. Junpei's body felt numb. A part of him knew the lump of lead in his chest once had been his heart. He couldn't quite remember what it had been for. Tears poured from his eyes in great streams. He wasn't sure why. He gave up trying to make them stop. He turned around. The door opened again. And slowly, numbly, numbly he couldn't. He walked through. He kept walking. Why stop? An object set in motion, simple inertia, carried him forward. Eventually, he found himself in front of the submarine. His arm reached for the hatch. And then he was floating in the water. Did I just die? This is what happens if you disrespect the Funyarimpa. His eyes stared down into it. He couldn't see the bottom. His back was hot. Dimly, he felt the blade of a knife in it. Ooh. One dead body lay behind door number five. The body of the ninth man. Another lay in the shower room. The body of Snake. At the central staircase, there were three more. Ace, Santa, and Clover. That's five. Just outside the door, there were two corpses, those of Seven and Lotus. In this very room lay the body that had once been Connie. And now Junpei would join them. Who? Who then had killed them all? Who? Junpei let out one last breath. Faintly, he felt the bubbles creep up the side of his face. His consciousness quickly faded, dissolving away into the cold, gentle lapping of the water. So, did I really get the worst ending on my first try? Like, really? I'm actually so mad right now. No, that was the best ending. No, it was not the best ending. Shut up. Ugh. I... I literally got the ending where everybody dies on my first playthrough. My dude, you gotta play less depressing games on stream. I mean, I feel you right now.
I, I 100% feel you right now. This is... How? How did I manage to go from, man, I'm gonna try to get the ending where everybody lives, to, I just got the ending where everybody's dead. Every single person. Every single person. <sighs> I guess that you weren't gonna get the best after picking door three, but yeah, what the fuck. I'll be honest, I thought picking door three might have been the way to get the best, honestly. I thought that it was the only way I would get to go back. It was the only way I could force them to think about things, but obviously I was wrong. I just... Oh my god. The end. Or is it? I mean... Obviously not. Um... Man. <laughs> we all die by a yellow submarine? Really? Who who made that achievement? Were there any choices after door three? I left for an hour. From what I can tell, there were no choices after door three, other than maybe I could have gotten Lotus killed on accident in the electric chair. That's the only thing I can think of. This game has multiple endings. In order to experience them all, you need to play through the game multiple times. Make sure to save your progress now to retain all the information you've acquired. Excuse me. Memory of Escape has been added to the title screen. Memory of Escape enables you to replay the escape rooms you have completed. Would you like to save the information? Yes. We'll do it in this one. Oh, that's one of the six endings. Okay. Obviously the worst. Whoa. Well, I guess I literally don't have a choice from knowing the choice tree. So your first choice literally means nothing. Which is okay with me. Oh, so I could have still had all of us die. Literally, because I chose three, we all died. Are you for real right now? Like, there's no other option. That is always the ending I get the moment I pick three. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm actually kind of bitter about that. Okay. But I still could have gotten that ending even if I picked the right. Okay. So, I guess I could start here and go through all this again, but honestly, I'm more interested in getting straight to the endings. The three, seven, and eight doors. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. So, but I'm so confused. Was it because I know Snake died that we all died? That seems so backwards to me. I feel like the realization that Snake died would have been what set us free. <sighs> Man. Right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah. Huh? We're well, already on through well, this, so. You first. Ah, uh, yeah. It's the same number. Got it. You're next seven. I'll. What? Who, me? Oh, All right. All right. Junpei, which... But <laughs> door three is completely darkened. Um, hmm. What do I do? Moral of the story is never put Jovine in positions of power. I mean... Not gonna say you're wrong. Because cause you're probably right. Dude, my heart is still broken from that ending. It's a good thing I know it's not canon. That's the most depressing ending. I would like to know what actually caused that all to happen, because I'm more confused, and I feel like I actually don't know any more than I did before, other than I literally picked the only bad door. I'm gonna go with eight. I... I... I think I'm gonna go with door eight. Okay. Eight it is. Yeah. All right, then. That means June's gotta go through seven. Is it because... seven started remembering things that we all died? What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Which we already went through. I had to be split up. There was no option. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Yep. Four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. 
four, three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. Also, I'm not sure how helpful that flow chart's gonna be other than the fact of now I know my three decision was literally the worst decision I could have made in the entire game, and now I just got destroyed. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Yep. Oh no, you're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. It's gonna be okay, Jim. Uh, hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? No, because we were in the same door. We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yes. Yeah, probably. Probably? Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. That's true. That would be a huge problem. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. And he clearly doesn't care about rules, though, because he would just murder every single person on the ship. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. But we're gonna see each other again. I promise. So I'm actually, like, borderline. I'm, like, so upset with that ending. I'm so mad. Yes. Promise? Absolutely. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Stop being a dick, Santa. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. <laughs> Unless the ninth man uh, jubated us all. I actually genuinely was thinking for a second that the ninth man could have jubated us all, but I don't know how that physically would have been possible. That's the problem. That ending is super rough and I just, it doesn't feel fair. Like everything about that ending feels unfair. It feels like none of the rules were followed by the whole thing. It's just, oh, and Clover's back to being sad because she thinks Snake's just missing. And now we're looking for Snake and, and we don't know Snake's dead. And, oh, oh, Clover, I'm sorry. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. I'm so sorry, Clover. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? I feel so bad for Clover. I just want to be clear. It's I picked I picked this door because Clover's here, not because Lotus is here. Although Lotus has redeeming qualities when you get to know her from those other escape rooms. Okay. Hurry. June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? That was close. That was totally, totally worth the risk. 81 seconds left. Hurry! Yeah. We don't even go through trying to find it, really? It's just like, oh, we found it. Easy. Oh, it stopped. Pointless. What an unpleasant girl. This is true. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Uh-oh. Quick question, are you playing on adventure screen mode on purpose? Because the novel screen has a lot more descriptive text, including some things that are not stated at all on the adventure screen. I did not know that whatsoever. I thought they were basically the same thing and it wasn't a problem. Too late now. I better catch up to them. After taking a moment to catch his breath, Junpei followed. I did not know that at all, actually. I genuinely didn't. Oh, it's a dead end. The hallway made a number of turns before the last coming to a dead end. I mean, she, she did just say that. Are you talking about this narrator stuff? Is that all just not in the adventure mode? I did not know that. There's a door on the left, though. For a few minutes, they stood in front of the door, examining it. Above the door was a plate with, with the word laboratory engraved on it. A laboratory? Huh. I mean, th there's, there's an O right there. Pretty sure that gets pronounced in that word, Junpei. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either, but there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Junpei. Huh? Please, you first. Thanks, Lotus. Junpei suspe suspected her politeness was motivated by something other than respect. Ugh, fine. 
Junpei muttered to himself and pushed open the iron door. But yeah, no, I was never, it was never clear to me that there was a huge difference. How is this possible? Do I even want to know what you just clipped? His first steps inside were tentative and careful, but as, as he examined the room, it became clear that there was no imminent danger. Thank you, stay hydrated bot. No, huh? Huh. Lotus followed him in, and Clover brought up the rear. Yeah, it's mostly narrative stuff. A good chunk, it's... If... A good chunk, if not all of it, is missing from the adventure screen mode. Then I'll keep playing this way. I didn't know that. Nobody... Like, they don't make it clear at all that there's actually that difference between the two. The room they found themselves in was divided into two separate areas by a curved wall. A thick glass window was built into that wall and made it possible to see the other side of the division. You know, I think the window looks into another room. Is that the other team's room? Maybe it's for monitoring something. Junpei walked into the window and looked through. What the hell? He wasn't sure what else to say. What the hell? In the center of the room, shaped like a quarter circle, a mannequin lay on what looked like a medical exam table. Ugh, looks so creepy. Junpei jumped a little. He hadn't noticed Lotus come up next to him. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Oh yeah, but thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna stay in novel for the rest of it. Ooh, uh. It's creepy either way. I don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? Well, I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. <sighs> Stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. She was gripping her arms, the knuckles of her hand white. Wait, where's Clover? She was still standing near the entrance of the room. <laughs> her face had the appearance of calm, but was drawn, and somehow sad. Maybe the fact that her brother is missing. Junpei. What is she? Are you- seriously? There was something almost pitiful about her. <laughs> Junpei walked over to her, and as kindly as he could, spoke. Are you okay? Clover looked away. What are you talking about? What? I, I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Man, she is like... Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Clover bit her lip. Junpei, you just suddenly. don't get it! I was reading! Her cry took Junpei by surprise, and he stumbled backwards a few steps, alarmed. My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! I know, because he's murdered, and I'm still bitter about that. Something happened to him! Something... something bad. Yeah. Junpei had nothing to say. Lotus, jolted from her mannequin nightmares by Clover's voice, turned towards them. What happened? Clover's eyes slid to Lotus, then back to Junpei. Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Yeah, something bad. It's called dead. It's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Finished, she turned around. Before Junpei or Lotus could say anything, Clover had begun to walk away. Hey, wait, Clover! Helps that I played the original, which had novel mode as the only option. Adventure mode is essentially a somewhat more streamlined version. All the important stuff are still there, but the flavor of narration, which is half the script, is gone. Yeah. That's good to know. I mean, I honestly think it's... it's. I think it's more interesting to play it this way, and it also gives me something to read rather than just sitting here staring at a screen, like, awkwardly. Hold on! That way is... I told you to leave me alone! He might as well have been talking to a wall for all the notice she took of his cries. Not even slowing down, she made her way for a doorway cut in the wall in front of her. Without even slowing down, she passed through the doorway. Clover, watch out above you! And without a warning, an iron gate fell from the ceiling, like a portcullis, sealing Clover in. What the heck? What's going on here? <sighs> Son. 
Clover grabbed a hold of the iron bars and shook them as hard as she could. Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. Junpei grabbed the bars and pulled. In a moment, Lotus joined him. That's not how you open doors like that, sir. The three of them pulled as hard as they could, but... I love how that's the exact same sound they use for, like, everything. Mouse clicking every few seconds. Yeah, I guess I could hit enter instead. Sorry. Damn it! It's not moving. Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No, I'm not giving up. This has got to be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's got to be a way to open it. Just what Jinpei I was nodded. Thinking. Now all we got to do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're going to have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Interesting. All right. Back to tons of mouse clicking now, though. Watch, I picked the one door that can still get me on that crappy ending, and I'm still going to get that god-awful ending. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't know if we could use any of these. Hmm. Well, I can say for sure that I don't do know how to use at least one of these things. Which one? The one up top. I think it's a power cable. The power cable, huh. I'll take that. I mean, yeah, that is a pretty standard power cable, other than that's obviously the wrong poly shape, but whatever. I'll stand for various equipment. Some of them might be useful. Uh, so we need that. This is a keyhole. This looks like a keyhole for an activation key. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I think something's supposed to power in the machine in the other room. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder how we're supposed to turn it on. Maybe by plugging it in. This is a really old type of keyboard. Got it. The monitor doesn't have a power cable, so one end of this needs to be connected to the monitor, and the other needs to plug it under the desk. Alright, let's just slip you in. Huh? Well, shoot, I can't use this. What's wrong? This cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need to plug it a, a plug to change the power to cable with two prongs. That's right. Because we're in Japan? The mouse. The keyboard. I don't know what I expected. These lockers are a little larger than the ones on top. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. Remember when we hated Lotus Kappa? <laughs> I just feel really bad now. And nope, nothing. Hey, ethanol. Well, I guess that's all there is. Well, that's boring. The cardboard boxes. There's some papers and stuff in them. What's in the boxes? They look quite full. As experiments. Oh, let me actually read that. Can I not go back and read it? But it's all really technical and stuff I don't get. Let me go back and read that. Oh, uh, okay. Apparently that's what number two does now. Man, I just spoiled which path I was on and I actually didn't want to know that. I would have accidentally done it at some point, but... Still sucks. There are two levers here. Do you think they activate something? Well, why don't you move one? Alright, I'll give it a try. Oh, and while we're on the topic, from my memory, the game has a tendency to switch itself back to adventure mode at times. I think it's generally whenever you escape a room. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'll know right away because it changes the text, how uh, the format of it. Looks like those switches do absolutely nothing. Nope. Doesn't look like anything's happened. I'm gonna keep clicking that. Looks like this door is the exit. The door on the right just goes to the laboratory. Nope, this door isn't going anywhere. No dice, one open. I mean, it's about as much as I expected. I don't think Zero, is, Zero would let us out of that room quite easily. No made of really thick glass. I don't even think a bullet could break it. Is this like an examination table? It's a really creepy mannequin in here, guys. Hey Clover, how are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? I didn't know any of this because I just played on DS, didn't pay attention to the remake. Fair enough. That explains why nobody said anything earlier. Does it have two plot prongs or two? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. Guess she does kind of have to crouch down and take a look to get under there. The cable on the monitor has, uh... It's got two of those little metal things. What does that mean? That's it. Okay, can you unplug that cable and bring it over here? Uh, okay, but... But... 
Well, I can unplug it, but it's plugged into the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Damn it, that's no good then. Well, how about just the plug? What? The plug? Well, maybe it's more uh, like a connector? It's the sort of thing that makes the plug with the three metal thingies into a plug with the two metal thingies. Still useless? Not useless. Not useless at all! That's just what we're looking for. Yeah, I'm definitely glad somebody else knew because I had no clue. And I, I, if you only played on the DS, I can understand not knowing. Okay, can you hold on for a little bit? And back down she goes. All right, unplugged. I'll hand it to you at these bars, okay? Here, the two prong plug. Thanks. Oh, it just gets rid of the. Okay. How did they explain that? The Japanese plugs aren't that way, are they? Junpei, why did we get the two prong club from Kohler? So we could connect it to the plug. Okay, then you do know. Now hurry up and do it quickly. Oh, so she's just being sassy, got it. There's no power going to the computer. Oh. Oh, I have to combine them first. Mm, dirt. I got this. Okay, put the two prong on the power cable. Easy. All right, I got the two prong power cable in my hand. Pretty sure this will work. Under the desk I go, and let's plug this into the monitor. All right, that ought to do it. Okay, let's turn the power on. I actually think Japan does use the same plugs. I might be wrong. Uh, I'm pretty sure Japan uses two pronged 240, don't they? Uh, I don't think anything's going to happen. Why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. You never know until you try. Pretty optimistic. Junpei pushed the button on the front of the monitor. Oh, that worked. With a soft hum, it turned on. Make directory, make BC, 27.3 seconds, start. Streams of letters made no sense to Junpei, started to scroll across the screen. What? He had hoped to turn on, but he hadn't expected this. Jevine with random power plug knowledge. Uh, a bit, not way too much. Huh? It's running on its own? I do know some stuff about 240 versus 120, mostly because it's a serious problem for IT if you plug, if you plug a 120 power supply into a 240 wall, which is why a lot of modern power supplies don't even let you pick anymore. It just automatically knows what it's getting, so it doesn't fry the entire computer. It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So maybe it's an all-in-one? So why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Clearly this was a reasonable explanation to Lotus. Uh, a wireless display? I mean... Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly. Hence the name. Thanks. Yes, I'm that stupid. I don't know what the word wireless means. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? I mean, that's probably right. He most certainly had not, but... Is that normal? No. Yes, at least where I worked. Are you serious? Very, very few people have wireless displays. Oh. Question mark? Stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Yes. Again, uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. Okay. What are you going to do? Lotus was... Not gonna lie, since we were talking computer, my first impression from that, the, the, the D face, I forget what, I don't know what that face would be called, the disappointed face. For me, I was thinking the D drive. I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, she's, on my own. She's just gonna start guessing passwords? Lotus? Lotus pulls over the nearest chair and dropped herself down onto it in front of the keyboard. For a second, she stood at the screen. She kneaded her hands, knuckles popping, and twisted her back left and right. All right. Let's kick some ass. Is she a programmer? We use some all-in-ones at work, but wireless, I don't think I've ever seen those in real life. So the only wireless that I've ever seen for this kind of stuff is usually, like, it still plugs into the back. Hunter 2. Obviously, Hunter 2 is a password. You're right. I forgot about that. I was going to say, I've seen all-in-ones all over. I've never really seen wireless displays. The only thing I've seen is um, an HDMI with a 
power dongle that lets you connect to it, but even then it was very specific. It was never anything that would be this low level. Lotus smiled to herself and rubbed her hands together in anticipation. Then, before Junpei had time to blink, she was typing at an incredible speed, the click clacking of the keys running together like machine gun fire. And literally no one... <laughs> Let's kick some ass, said literally no one as they sat down in the computer with no games on it. Lol. I don't know. Programmers are nerds. Maybe they're really into that kind of thing of trying to hack into stuff. Uh, wait, what? Junpei was, for once, at a loss for words. No, you're, you're often at a loss for words, Junpei, because you don't know what a lot of things mean. Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't. You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. Lotus grinned, pleased with herself. Well, at any rate, you're pretty amazing. Junpei's eyes look like they're looking at not her hands. I mean... <laughs> Did you fall for me again? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, again? <laughs> I'm not into you. I know, I know. Don't be so stubborn, shy boy. I'm starting to dislike Lotus less and less. I am not being stubborn. I am not shy, and I am not a boy. I am a young, healthy, 21-year-old man. I'm not going to fall for an old lady like you. You are going to get slapped across the face. Suddenly, the guttural roar of a furious animal filled the room. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the best. I love it. Or, Soonpei, or so Junpei thought, just for a moment. Lotus's hand suddenly stopped and her shoulders stiffened. Old lady? Did you just say old lady? I think I found the bad ending where Junpei dies. Uh, w well, I, uh... <laughs> oh, crap, thought Junpei. I went too far. Oh, well, it was a nice life while it lasted. I've had enough of you. Go somewhere else. You're better. Ripperonies. What? <laughs> and Lotus bl brutally eviscerated jo Junpei. Bad end. Go see if you can find a password hint or something. I'll try and open this from here. Uh. You're distracting me. Go. Now. <laughs> that is so savage. Lotus waved her hand in the universal gesture of dismissal. Junpei was clearly not wanted. I'm surprised she didn't wave her hand in the, the sign of universal, you're, you're an idiot. Fine. I, I guess I'll go. Time to cut my losses, Junpei thought, and left as quietly as and inoffensively as he could. Junpei wandered around the room for a while, looking for anything that might help find the password for the computer. And unfortunately, there isn't much. Nothing. No clues whatsoever. Clover didn't find anything useful in the laboratory, either. Damn. Looks like we've hit a dead end this time. But as we, just as he was about to tell Lotus that a search had returned nothing... All right! Bullseye! Junpei, I did it! Excited, cheering erupted from the monitor. <laughs> what? The monitor. He hurried back to find Lotus looking rather smug. Let me see. She gestured for him to look at the screen, and he did. The strange text from before was gone, and its place was something entirely different. Nine squares arranged in a three-by-three three square. What is that? Also, I'll be honest, I'm not sure her hacking knowledge would help that much here, but whatever. I don't have any idea. It just showed up after I cracked the password. You think it's a puzzle? It certainly looks like one. As she spoke, Lotus stood up. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? Lotus looking rather <laughs> lewd. That smug face on Lotus. Yeah, smug. No, I can't do any more. It won't let me do any more programming. I wouldn't have let you do programming in the first place, but I'm just gonna assume that you're magic. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... she the ultimate programmer? Is that Shihiro? Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, alright? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well... He wasn't sure what to say to that. She certainly had done her part. In fact, without Lotus, they probably would have run completely aground. I shouldn't rely on other people so much, Junpei thought to himself. I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. And make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Junpei crossed his arms and stirred the puzzle shown on the screen. Is it? That's what I thought it was. Man, that was really hard. 
Lotus, have you tried Control Shift Escape to, to force the task manager to appear? Hey! All right. I solved it. Did you hear a noise just now? Yeah, it. Di I did. It sounded like something unlocking. Hardest puzzle ever. Hello. Where did it come from? Oh, these lockers are open now. Look, Junpei. The lights on the lockers are green. Then we must have unlocked them with the computer puzzle. And we have a key. Keys. Can you pick them up, please? This one is small, and it looks like it goes to some sort of machine. And this one has the Earth symbol on it. Oh, that's the other door we haven't got to open yet. I think the Earth symbol matches the keyhole in the door on the A-deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably don't need the Earth key right now. All right then, Earth key. I'll just tuck you way into my pocket. Now, as for the other key. Activation. Hey, it's the activation key. It was just at that moment that he heard a voice behind him. It was Clover. Hey, Junpei, do you have a minute? He put the puzzle aside for a moment, then walked over to Clover. What's up? Um, well... Are you gonna say sorry? Never mind. Oh. Hey, hold on a minute. What does... Sorry. Just forget about it. It's nothing. Before he could say anything else, she spun around and ran back down the stairs. What the hell was that? <sighs> After waiting a few minutes to see if she would turn, Junpei sighed, shook his head, and went back to search her. That accomplished essentially nothing. This key. The shape sure makes it seem like it goes in the machine. Alright, I'm turning it on. Okay. That's a really crappy computer. That was stupid fast. This is a perfect speed game for you, Kappa. Pocket. Ouch. <laughs> okay, the monitor's on now. And it's full of letters. It's showing me some kind of warning. Power restore to Arabic expendable device. Emergency system will activate in the event of an abnormal subject behavior. Okay. Typing on this keyboard isn't doing squat. Power restore to experimental device. Uh... The only thing we know about the room is changes the battle is down now. Not very impressive. I mean, couldn't we try clicking it again? There's something sticking out of this mannequin's head, like wires or something. What the hell are they? What the hell are they doing in there? Huh? Why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans, probably. Oh man, now she looks sad. Oops. I don't know what kind of table this is. But it's all but part of it's all black. There's a pen lying over here. I think somebody probably made it used it to make the table black. Hmm. Well if they only use the pen on the on one part of it, there's probably something underneath all that pen. Clover, do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is a permanent marker. Junpei, do you know how to erase ink from permanent marker? Lotus. Alright, I'm done, Junpei. You solved this one. Okay, got it. Five seconds later, after solving the easy puzzle. My level of expertise, you say? Yep. Also, this maze among the morning newspaper that seems like you could solve it. Gee, thanks. <laughs> yep. Got it. Lotus, Lotus gives you very, very short goals, so that way you don't even disappoint her. Racing from permanent marker, huh? Use isopurple alcohol. Give me a second. I got it. It's literally right here. Can I... The table's been covering. If I could use something, get, I, okay. So do I go over to the bars and give it to her? Clover, use this ethanol. You should be able. To, or sorry, es ethanol, not isopropyl. You should be able to wipe, wipe off that permanent ink with it. What am I gonna wipe it with? Oh, well, your clothes, of course. Ha! Huh. Just, just kidding. Just kidding. Cause you know, we we need to do that kind of stuff in in an escape situation where we think we all might die. Please don't look at me like that. You're scaring me. Um, so do I need to go get, well, I gotta find a cloth somewhere. Uh, Junpei, this thing in here is on now. Yeah, that's because we activated the power over on this side. Could you, like, play with it a little? Okay, yeah, I'll turn this dial here. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Well, maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. It's a rack. There are a bunch of cables on it. Somebody cut the outer stuff on the cables so I can see the wires inside. Okay. Do I need to get her? I wonder what they washed here. There are these weird colored stains all over the sink. 
Don't think about that. There's the plug. Um, Clover, there's a door in the back, isn't there? Wait, right here. Right, right there. I'll take a look. Oh no, it's locked. Stripped cables. Yeah, I don't know what they're for. I don't know if I want to. Oh no, it's locked. I can't get it to move. Stop. Okay. Um. Anyways, could you wipe up that print and eat? Look, Clover. Right now, at this moment, you're the only person we can depend on. I'm trusting you with this. You trust me. I feel kind of special. Is she gonna wipe off the ink then? Clover, can you use that cloth on the table? Use, huh? Soak it in ethanol, then use it to wash the stuff off the permanent marker, okay? Oh, so there was a cloth. Right, okay, so I gotta soak, so I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. Well, she's got the cloth, but she seems to be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. When she's ready, I should ask her to get that work stuff off the table. Soak the cloth in ethanol and... Junpei! It's working! It's wiping the permanent ink off! Huh? There's some kind of weird drawing underneath all the permanent ink. What's the deal with the drawing Clover found? Maybe I should ask her for another look at the table. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers and some kind of grid. I can't see it from here. Clover, you've got a pen and a notebook, right? Could you write down those numbers and hand it through me those bars? Okay, roger! Something tells me that plugging those should be a horrible idea. Yes, do not plug in cables that are stripped, ever. Random fact. Here, Junpei. I wrote down all the numbers on the desk from here. Hmm, I've seen something like this before. Grid divided by nine cells with four numbers. Maybe it's a hint for the computer puzzle. Uh, are you gonna need this? Um, yeah, maybe. I'll take it just in case. But I already finished the computer puzzle. What? 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 I don't have any items. And I already finished the computer puzzle. I already started the key and activated the machine. Power restored. Keyboard. The keyboard! It does nothing! Press 3. Clover's note. Clover's note copied. One, two, three, four. But is this for the thing that I already solved? Oh. All the rest of these are not very helpful. I already got everything from there, right? It's red light on this flame, which means it's locked. If we can get that light to turn green, maybe we can get Clover back. Hey, Clover! There's a door over here, too. Wait! I'll be right there! I can't hear her over there. Is this door gonna... Damn it. I can't open it. Clover! What about your side? It won't work! I can't even move the knob! Okay. Maybe it's for also for other things? We'll find out. Maybe increase the voltage? Roger! Will do! Okay, well I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage. Oh, she said that. Max voltage? Hey, wait, Clover! Aw, oh, shit. That did not sound good. What? What? Uh, I think I... Uh... Oh, bad, bad, very bad. Oh my god! The mannequin's head! Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. Mm, what the hell? Fire detected, fire detected! The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Damn, the gate's still shut. <gasps> These doors are unlocked! Junpei, look at the light! Yeah, it's green! The emergency system has activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Junpei, come on, kid, jump! She's safe. Oh man, that smoke is some serious business. Here comes the water. We're trying to close this door again, I think. Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Clover, no! Rip science boy. Uh, of course I'm not alright. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I was almost dead. So sorry, I was going as fast as I could. You can, you two can do this later. Right now we need to get the hell out of here. That fire is not going to stay in that room forever. Oh, is that the escape? <laughs> Junpei, Clover, and Lotus leapt out of the laboratory, slamming the door shut behind them. <sighs> Whew, thank God we got out of there. Cyclone FM. 
Also, science boy. Oh, the magnetic. Baka. Ah, got it. Yeah, finally. <coughs> got it. Clover Sundara confirmed. <sighs> All three collapsed against the wall, breathing heavily. <sighs> Jinpei's heart was pounding in his chest, and the whole body felt weak. He inhaled gulps of clean air, and with each one, he could feel his body begin to calm down. We didn't go through the bonus door, though. I want to know where it was through that. All right. Let's go. Okay. They nodded to each other and started down the hallway. Before long, they found a few new doors, but all of them were locked. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. Thank you for reading exactly what the novel just told me. How about that one? The final door sat in the corner of the hallway. I've Let's seen this, this door before. This is the door with the prize. It's definitely a door we've opened before in a different world. Junpei grabbed the door handle and was about to pull it open when a voice out cried out before behind him. It was neither Clover nor Lotus, but he recognized it. There was no doubt the voice belonged to... Jumpy! June. Huh? He spun around. There, at the end of the hall, Junpei saw, with human, saw human figures running towards them. But yeah, to come back on Clover's note, that was just for the ridiculously easy panel puddle. Didn't want to say anything about it until after you finished the room. I totally understand. I thought it was because they literally like say, hey, I think it's for this. But I'm like, that seems kind of pointless. He died doing what he loved. Science. Rip. <laughs> Three of them. June? Santa! Seven! They stopped short in front of Junpei and his companions, gasping for air. Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Before he could finish, Clover spoke. Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? She was standing near the end of the small hallway that branched off to the right. The rest of them ran over, curious as to what she found. Hey, on the wall. It's the map. map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Which makes that that door, and that's door 3, and that's where we were earlier. Wait, did he have to do click it in the order that it told him and Jovan just RNG'd into it? Nope, no order involved. No, you just had to actually solve the puzzle. That hint is so pointless. It really is, which means that I could have done the entire thing without even getting um the uh the ethanol either. In fact Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't gonna be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Yep. Otherwise we won't be able to open door nine. Yep. That's how the notary game works. Jinpei looked at the map of the ship's interior again. Wait a sec. This leads to... As he looks more closely, his surprise and excitement gave way to his wariness. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. One by one, the others saw what he'd seen. We may as well go. Yeah. As, they, as one, they moved back towards the door. Jinpei had only a moment before he was ready to... Uh, a moment ago, they'd been ready to open. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. He pulled the map of the ship's interior off the wall and put it in his pocket, followed by the others. This dude's got big pockets. The six of them stood in front of the door, arrayed in a semicircle. Is Ace going to be missing? Santa stepped forward. He took a hold of the door and spoke without looking back at the other five. Ready? I'm going to open it. They nodded as their silent... They nodded their silent assent. With deep breath... Santa threw open the door. They poured through the doorway and into the room. Even without looking around, they, they all knew where they were. I knew it. They were just where the map had said they'd be. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Okay, so he's still here at least. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. I was a little worried that like there was something going to be funky going on with Ace. So like, that's actually why we all died is because he never had time to be free and alone. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. He looked like anyone might after only waking up, but it seemed like his brain was working as well as ever. He had managed to grasp, summarize, and understand each team's report. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. 
I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. <laughs> Ace shook his head with a rueful smile. Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Yeah, Seven smiled. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Uh, Here. Seven tests something small and metallic towards oh. Junpei. <laughs> Jeez. He caught it and found that the object was a key. I see. So this is Jupiter. On it, someone engraved the sy uh, symbol very similar to a four, which is the Jupiter symbol. He looked over at June, who nodded back. This had to be the Jupiter symbol. I'm going to let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah. I'm on it. Junpei tucked around the new key into his pocket. So how many unused keys do we have now? Two. Earth and Jupiter. There's the Earth key we found in the laboratory. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Jupiter key you just gave me. Junpei tucked the, uh, the new keys into his pocket. June spoke up. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! They were the first words anyone heard out of Clover in quite some time. Well, except we were just talking of Clover for forever in our room, but whatever, you know. Her face suggested they weren't going to be very happy words. What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. There were tears in her eyes, but she glared at Seven as hard as she could, just the same. She looked very much like a frightened puppy. There wasn't a man alive who could have resisted those eyes. Seven looked everywhere in the room except at Clover, and muttered and coughed apologies under her breath under his breath. Yeah. You're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Clover nodded once. The next person to speak was Ace. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. Seven plus four plus one. Five. That's twelve. Are they gonna go? I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Junpei did calculations quickly in his head. Four plus one plus seven is twelve. Twelve. One plus two is three. It looked like Seven was doing them, too. At last, he gave up. Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? I love how I keep doing the math before they do it in the game, and it's just wasting my time. Yes, you are. Alright, let's get moving. And so it was decided that Clover, Ace, and Seven would discover what lay beyond Door 3. So no matter what, Door 3 gets seen. It's just, in the case of what I did... We never went through seven or eight. Oh, this is gonna be depressing. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Oh, didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Seven nodded as if this answer made much more sense and pulled the lever on the red. Okay, we're off. The door opened, and Ace, Clover, and Seven jumped through it. Six, seven, eight. After exactly nine seconds, the door closed noisily. All right, we should get moving, too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Everyone except Lotus seemed rather confused. Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Exclamation point nine counter, lol. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. We have heard nine quite a bit of times. They were at the end of the hallway, lined by the invisible hospital rooms. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Junpei put the Jupiter key out of his pocket and slid it in the keyhole. He twisted. With a nice sharp click, he felt the door unlock. Junpei sucked in a quick breath, held it, and opened the door as quietly as he could. We're at 99.9 so far. Cyclone, please. Inside was exactly what he expected to see from the map of the ship's interior. 
They were in a tremendous hall, almost like a ballroom with a massive central staircase. Great. Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Yeah, because we can go take that other elevator now. What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Savage. Huh? This. Jube pulled two things out of his pockets. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Santa cocked his head to one side, like an inquisitive bird, and looked at them. After several long moments, during which he became apparent Santa had no idea what the cards meant, June took pity on him. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. Yep. And on A Deck, on the door to the left... There was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. Yep, there was. So, the two keys that Jumpy has? Should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. June smiled, pleased with herself. So did Santa. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. Oh, I don't get a choice. Junpei handed the Earth key to Santa. They decided that, that, their, that their inertial shirt should be brief. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. That seems reasonable. Not that any of them have a watch that can tell time. It just has a stupid number on it. Plan decided the two teams split it up. Did it say split it or split? That's not how English works, is it? Plan decided the two teams split up. Not split it, right? Okay, whatever. Oh. Don't care. Junpei and Jun headed for the elevators. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. The funny thing is, had we not played that other ending first, I without a doubt wanted to go down this elevator, but I have an odd feeling like what we're going to find first is the exact same place that we would have been since we went down a different elevator. The light on the upper left corner blinked to life. Great. It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Google says no. Google says no what? It should be splitted? So Google says it should be splitted or it should be split? Elevator. There was a single button on the right of the elevator door. Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. I want to say splitted works in the past tense. But I've always heard people use it in the past tense as split up too, though. Let's split up. Oh, no, I guess everybody always says let's split up. And then the two teams split up. I don't know. I feel like everybody uses split. Reminds me how it sneaked, not snuck. Neither of those sound right, really. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. The door slid shut and they heard the grinding of the motor as the elevator car moved down. Let me guess. We're going to find a, uh, a door with the number two, by chance. Wait, it so... It opened! Look, Jumpy! June's voice was excited, but Junpei could hear a tinge of anxiety. <sighs> Sweet! It opened! Let's get going! He grinned at June and stepped towards the open door. As he was about to set foot in it, he felt the hand he felt a hand on his arm. W w wait What? Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just... Uh, oh, gosh. She's so worried. Junpei was a something of a loss. What could she possibly be so frightened of? Jun was probably afraid of... They could only go down. She's afraid because the only elevator button pointed down. That meant, of course, the elevator couldn't go any higher than the floor they were on. As he thought about it, Junpei realized he hadn't seen elevators on the A or B decks near central staircase. All of which meant the elevator could only convey them to the lower decks. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor... D deck is completely underwater. Why are you disappointed that I didn't pick zero out of ten choice there? That's what I thought you'd want me to pick was the other one. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, uh, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It's okay, I probably at some point I'll have to go back and the best scene in the game. The other choice gets you, like, the best scene in the game? Really? Now I really want to see it. 
Can I go to it right now? Uh, can I click this again and go back? Oh, wait, no matter what, you end up at the same spot. It doesn't matter. This choice literally made no difference. This was the only choice that mattered there. If I click that again, how far does that put me back? I see. The six of you, you saw, and then... At any... I know I didn't... Well, anyway, we found the key we need. The key? Ain't that... Here. Whoa. <laughs> None of this does anything. I'm gonna what does yeah. this button do? So, there's the the Saturn key card we found, and the Jupiter. Ah, oh, there we go. So clicking it doesn't do anything. You have to hit Control three times. So I'm curious, does is this choice actually like important? Does it just play a cool scene? Or in this case the choice. Perfect. Uh of course there's a reason. It's very important. Like so hold up. Well I have to So should I save right oh, before this? It only has the <sighs> well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is menu, save, save, turn off auto, it is off. After a little thought, Junpei decided she had to be nervous about getting locked up in such a small space alone with a boy. <laughs> the most important choice of the game. I'm kidding, it's not critical to the plot. Okay, that's why I wanted to know in case I actually needed to save first, but I'll do it anyways. Well, um... We will be all alone in here. In a way, it was kind of cute. Very demure, you could say, he thought. So I totally, I totally obviously know what demure means. Uh, but I, I figured it would be, you know, awesome to define it for everybody else. Reserved, modest, and shy. Why did they pick that one? Okay, whatever. Word of the day. Still, even though it wasn't exactly roomy in the elevator, they weren't going to be pressed up against one another. At least they didn't have to be. Still, it was making her nervous. Jinpei couldn't help but think about how innocent she was. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. Again, he stepped towards the elevator. And again, he felt himself restrained. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, uh, I've never... You know. It's your first time? Uh. Uh. Um. Uh. She'd never been in an elevator with a man alone before? Even so, she seemed awfully alarmed. I might. get wet. Monkatos. Monkatos. Uh, oh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Uh, well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's true. Monka TOS, man. <laughs> you don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do, I guess. How do the voice actors handle this scene? I, I, mm, I mean, it happens. Stuff like that happens. You got to 
It's, it's what actors do. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. But taking breaks every so often to avoid bursting into laughter, also a good point. Yes. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be over. Oh my god! Oh my god, really? Uh, over? Yes. I'll go to heaven. Heaven? High expectations of you, boy. It feels kind of like you're floating in space, and your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. Really? At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. How would people experience- what? How would she have known people that have experienced it? Ah, uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. But if she's thinking of actually dying, how does she know people who've experienced dying? Like, what? Although, I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. Wh what? <laughs> huh? Huh? But it would happen to men, too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. Um. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. These are the story about people who are dead then come back or whatever. Well, then they're not really dead, are they? What are you trying to do to me? Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. <laughs> oh my god, Captain Prides. Oh, is that so? <laughs> then it's only natural? Is that what's natural for living beings? Perhaps he's been mistaken all these years. Oh my god. Oh my god. Had he misunderstood life so gravely? The thought terrified him. June seemed to be entirely oblivious to Junpei's mounting confusion and terror. I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Is he finally going to figure it out? Because if he doesn't now, he's a disappointment. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore. And you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh. Huh. Oh. Finally, Junpei understood. Oh my god. He understood what June was trying to say and why she was so scared. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. See? Oh my god. Really, that snort? Yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. So worth it. Yes, you're right. Worth, worth rereading the scene, but like... Pretty sure that ten minutes is already quite long for anyone not trained in the whole thing. I mean... Yes. I'm just gonna leave the answer as yes for that question without without stating about what the question actually is at the end of that day. She was afraid that the only the elevator button only pointed down. That meant of course that the elevator couldn't go any higher than the floor they were on. So that whole thing's just skipped and I would have just been right here. As he thought about it, Junpei realized he hadn't seen the elevators on the A or B deck on the central staircase. All of which meant the elevator could only convey them to lower decks. Huh. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor. D deck is completely underwater. Oh An elevator God. heading to a submerged. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from some. Um, it Where didn't open that? right. There was a motor noise. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So okay, so back to where we were. Inside. Junpei jerked his head toward the interior of the elevator. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. That's of course. That's that's what that's what uh, Junpei meant too, Neil. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. 
She looked around the elevator, slightly embarrassed. Well, let's test it. Test? Yeah, watch this. Now? I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. He pushed the E button and jumped out of the elevator. The door slid shut. Anyway, I'm off for the night. See you, people. Thanks for stopping by, Neo. You're actually... We're about done anyways. There's only five more minutes of the stream, so you picked a good time to actually head out. <laughs> so you have a good one. I'm hoping to get to the next choice and then probably cut it there. I, I think I can hear it opening on E-Deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. A few moments later, the elevator returned. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? Junpei couldn't resist puffing out his chest just a little bit. Jun, however, still looked confused. What does that mean? How can E-Deck be safe if the D-Deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E-Deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Makes sense. Here, uh, let me show you. He pulled out his notebook and pen and sketched out a rough illustration. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? 10 out of 10. Best picture. Love the it. The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm going to go down and check it out. Junpei conti here, all right? continued walking as he closed the notebook and slipped back into his pocket. Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? Why not just have her go with you? He gave Jun's soldier a reassuring squeeze and then hopped onto the elevator. Is he afraid of being alone on an elevator with her? He pushed the E button and the door began to close. Jin looked worried, her eyes darting back and forth as if she was trying to make a decision, when suddenly... I I'm coming with you! Huh? At the last possible moment, June dashed forward, turning sideways just in time to slip through the gra gap between the sliding closing doors. Hey! Wait! Junpei jammed his finger against the open button, but it was too late. Ah, oh, crap! It closed! The door had shut, he and June were the elevator, and it was headed down to the DE deck. The picture kind of reminds me of Dumbbell. Dumbbell reminds me of Chihiro. Feels bad. Get out. Get out, Cerns. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah. The elevator stopped and the door slid open. They tentatively stepped out and looked around. It looks normal. No fish going about their fishy business or jellyfish floating around lazily through the water. There was, however, a blowfish, or at least something that looked very much like one. June's cheeks were puffed out and her mouth with a tiny, intense frown. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. You little punk, June. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. June looked around nervously, then... <sighs> You're right. Exhale. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's going to happen if the ceiling breaks? Junpei thought about that for a moment. Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. June? Or Junpei, did you really? Did you really? Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then. Junpei glanced around the room they'd found themselves in. The first thing he noticed was a set, thick set of iron bars. They ran the length of the room, separating the left elevator from the right one. Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... In the corner of the room that housed the elevator, Junpei found an opening. Well... He walked up to it and stuck his head around the corner. It looks like there's a long, straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. Junpei and June set off down the hallway, a brisk clip between somewhere a run and a jog. It's the number six. Before long, they found themselves in front of a door. On it was the number in bright red paint. Six. I knew it! This is a numbered door! And inside there was a red bolted on the wall right next to the door. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. That's kind of the point. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Junpei and Jun turned and headed back to Sea Deck. Wait, what's this? On their way back, Junpei noticed a map on the wall. Is this the map for E Deck? I should take it with me. 
So you guys found door one. They met up back with Santa and Lotus, who had explained what they'd found. Apparently, on the other, there was another numbered door on A deck, just like the one on E deck, beyond the deck, uh, the door where the Earth key opened. According to Santa and Lotus, there was a one on that door. So now we've located two new doors: the six door and the one door. It's the nine door, but the ship is upside down. Dun dun dun. You know, it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Lotus was quiet for a moment, lost in thought. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Eight plus six plus five plus three equals 22 equals four, thinking. We don't have a four door though, what? What? I'm so confused. Yes. And that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Stay hydrated, don't get wet down there. All, can't, all four can't enter either door. Yes, that's true. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. Which makes sense, though, because this is the exact same group that went through the four door at the beginning of the game, though. Either three go in one or we need some of the other ones. We definitely need some of the other people because they're going to come back through the three door and Clover is going to be a mess because she's going to have seen her own brother dead. But the problem is nobody knows who killed him. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. That thought made them all go quiet for a moment. Hmm. 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 <laughs> June bit her lip while Lotus slid softly to herself. Santa cracked his stiff neck and stared off into the distance at nothing. Um. Yeah? Um. I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. June looked up at Junpei with large pleading eyes. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? 8 plus 6 plus 5 is 19, which is 10, which is 1. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, savage. Right, let's go. Lotus's words were all in, all the impetus they needed. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Force or energy with which a body moves. Back to the large hospital room they went. And with that, the moment they stepped inside, a tremendous voice echoed across the room. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Sam. Thanks for letting us know what that meant, Jovine. Yeah, I, I figured you guys would love to know what that word meant. Gotta start working on the next tutorial. Awesome, Cyclone, I'm happy. So I'm gonna stop it now. Um, I know it's a little earlier than the choice, but I figured this is the perfect time. It leaves us kind of knowing, like he was just like, where the hell you guys go? And we know that something is going down right after this. So I think it's perfect moment. Um, I'm going to go to my...